guys, how are you doing? Welcome back. Okay, um, I do hope that the last video gave you a good overview of how to get a list up and running in Aweber. I'm sure that most autoresponders are generally um, have roughly the same system. Do please note when you're going through this that the resources available within each autoresponder system are also very good. I, certainly speaking from Aweber's point of view, the uh, tutorial, tu sorry, tutorial videos and things that Aweber provide to help you create a list um, and go through and set up all your follow-up messages and all that kind of stuff really are very very good indeed so there are resources do make sure you seek out the training resource within whichever autoresponder program you're using to help you uh, create all the things that you want to do okay um, now you probably won't see this message when you go through because you will have set up your list properly I went through it very quickly with you in the last video so I didn't customize the verification message properly but when you do it you will have actually gone through um, this step by step and set everything up properly so you probably won't see that so don't worry too much about that right now so what we want to do is go and create our web form, our opt-in form that we're going to use for people to come and sign up to our special offer. So click on this big green button here called create a new web form. And here we come into our design part of creating the web form. And that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to do the design part. Now, you're greeted with this very basic web form here, but there's lots of templates that you can use. So this one is an animals template look. Um, you've got a kids template that you could use. That's pretty funky. Um, there's a stadium template here that you can use. Okay, and there's lots more. There's some corporate templates. So if you wanted to go for something that's more sort of corporate, that's a desktop template, or a, if you're a stethoscope template, maybe. Um, and if you go to show more, it just brings up all of these um, sort of niches and areas, markets that you can go and look in and grab a template and use. Okay, so this is an easy money one here. OK, so you can actually go and use some templates that are already in there or you can design your own. So let's go back to a basic template. Let's go back to this one and let me show you how you can really start to play around with this to get your own unique design. All right. First of all, we have a header that we can edit so we can put whatever we want in here. So welcome. Uh, please enter your name and email address to receive your free bodybuilding ebook today. Okay, um, let's grab all that text in this box up here and look what we can do with it. We can center it, bold it, make it bigger. Oops, just uh clicked off there let's go down to let's make it 24 points we can change the font family okay so we could actually make that Georgia or something completely different that's not very bodybuilding is it <laughs> Georgia doesn't look very bodybuilding what's going to look more bodybuilding that'll do okay so we can do that you can even change the color of the the text if you want you can go and choose a completely different color okay for now we'll leave it at that you can resize your form look now do be careful obviously when you're thinking about an Aweber form you do want to make sure that you stay within the um, the size of, of Aweber you do need to make sure it's within that 510 pixels so do just be careful when you do that um, you can change the color Look, we can go into background here and we can move this up and down and start playing around with the color and you can have completely different colors for your background okay so in keeping with the social networking academy let's go with a kind of a purpley color there all right and then we've got down here our fields these are called fields now we can edit these so this is our name field do we want to capture the first and last name using a single field which we can do okay we can capture the first name and then the last name in separate fields if we want I don't really advise that to be honest with you you really want to capture um, their name in total there okay um, and you can add a value in the box so if you want to put add name here for instance in the box yeah and then remove that text when clicked you can do that if you want to do that 
okay um, so you can kind of change that around you can do the same with email you can play around with the email um, you can decide to have a value so add email here yeah if you want to do that you can put that there this is where you could remove one so you could actually remove one of these fields and maybe just have your email field or maybe you want to add a new field so you'd go up here to this blue box here and create new field now there's your new custom field now what's so really funky about this is all the different options you've got so let me show you let's put in here ask me a question okay now you may put that better you may ask me your number one questioner on bodybuilding or whatever um, oh it doesn't like my explanation mark sorry just save that okay now look at these different options we've got here so I mean that could be a text input so if you wanted just a telephone number or something like that then you've got this text input field here it could be a select box and you could have some choices so you could actually put something like please select your number one bodybuilding supplement or something and put in a whole load of choices there yeah um, you've got a radio button that you could put next to it you've got a check box that you could put next to it um, and you can have that in different positions look left or right yeah um, a text area for ask me a question so this is where people can actually submit a question or you might have a date so it might say when's your birthday or I don't know whatever you want on there okay so it's very very funky <laughs> of what you can do um, in there okay and you can make it something that's required so in other words they can't submit unless they actually you know complete that section okay so that's how you can kind of play around with your fields this is your submit button let's make that say instant access okay oh I haven't spelt that right have I access there we go and with this button as well look you can change the position you might want it over on the right you might want it over on the left or you might want to keep it center and again you can play around with the color okay so you can make it more in keeping with the color at the top of your page okay so we'll save that oops I oh, made it go back to blue okay you need to click okay save then this is the kind of we respect your email privacy um, uh, you know permission box you know spam thing for email privacy this you can decide if you want to keep this as powered by email marketing or you can actually just remove that completely um, you may want to edit a footer and put something in so you know thank you thank you for visiting our page uh, see you on the other side maybe something like that you know whatever it is you want to put if you, if you want a footer well, you may want to change this we respect your email privacy get rid of that and actually just put a little put a, a message here saying hey you know we completely respect your email privacy and we're never going to share or do anything to your email whatever you want to put there okay okay so that's just the beginning because guess what else you can do you can add an image okay if we go up here and click on this image button okay we can actually go and add the URL of an image that means that your image must be uploaded somewhere it's got to be on the World Wide Web somewhere your image okay um, but you can add the URL of an image so let me just go and grab an image URL give me two secs okay so if I go in here if I copy and paste this image URL here I can choose to have it center or I can choose to have it right we're going to go with center and click Save and there's our image now let's say this is an ebook let's say that this is our bodybuilding ebook we could if we want actually put it up here above the name and email address so we've got welcome you know please enter your name and email address and grab our ebook and all the rest of it and you can do that okay that's pretty funky as well isn't it and there's loads of other stuff you can do as well look you can add more text if you decide you want to add more text you can add a text element in here and add even more text um, you can add a divider look you can get a divider a dotted line or a dashed line or whatever you want in there and that can be you know bigger or smaller um, and it can be different colors um, oh look I've changed the whole background there um, so anyway you can basically oops remove Oh, I've completely changed the color of my page sorry about that um, so you can let's just uh, make this background 
back to what it was. Okay. All right. So you can completely play around with it. What else can you do? There's your image. Um, oh, your Powered By link. If you do want to leave the Powered By email marketing link, you can put your Aweber affiliate link in there. If you've got an affiliate link with Aweber, you can actually go and put that in there and, and have that Powered By email marketing and have an affiliate link in there. Um, you can have a little Aweber counter. Um, so, so many readers um, and you can, you know, change that around as well. Um, and you can play with this whole background image. You could make this whole image here, um, you know, something, a background image of your choosing. OK, so for instance, um, this isn't going to make a lot of sense. In fact, let's remove this image a minute and I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to take that image away. If I go into advanced and put that URL of the image I just put in there as the background image, OK? Um, and that's going to show behind the questions. Yeah, it doesn't look very nice because it's too busy. But if I then just tile that, look, my image of, of here, I've got a background image then on there of, of that. So, you, you know, you can put whatever image you want at the back there as well. OK, so there's all sorts of different things that you can do with this form. Um, and I hope that's given you a bit of, a, of an overview of how to do that. I actually created a product last year called the 10 Minute Engine. I think I sold it for $7. I only sold about four copies. The 10 Minute Web Engine. Um, and it was all about how to create a web page with no domain, no hosting, no nothing. And basically, this is it. You could set this all up in your Aweber account and load this onto the web as a, a web page all on its own. What I'll do is I'll send that 10 Minute Web Engine out to you and you can watch those videos. Uh, please bear with me it is a year old <laughs> and it was my first sort of um my first toes into the world of uh, of creating my own videos but I'll send that out to you because that's quite fun you can have a look at that and um and I go into all of this in even more detail um I I show you how to use images from pages and sales pages and all sorts so you might find that quite interesting all right guys what we'll do in the next video we're going to go to step two I'm going to put that image back in that create your website image so let's go and grab that and let's put that URL in there um, and let's uh, make that center it's already made it center okay great and then save and then move that back up there okay just so you can see what it looks like on a page and in the next video what we're going to do is we're actually going to go and take this form we're going to um, put all the settings in behind it and then grow and go and grab the code that we need to be able to go and place it on a page okay guys so I will see you on the next video